Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips with me, Chris Agnelli. In this one we're going to take a look at some MIDI transform functions in the piano roll and how we can create our own uh, functions. I'm going to quickly record in an off bass. Uh, purposely badly played there. What well, one says. And... There are three things that we want to do to this uh, MIDI data to make this baseline work really well. Uh, and so we need to quantize the start time, we need to fix the velocities, and we need to quantize the end time. So quantize the start time, we can quantize here, and this will quantize all the events inside this region. So I'll just show you if we have two regions copied up and this one highlighted, I hit quantize. It doesn't quantize this region. Okay, just this one. So if I undo, if I want to quantize both these regions, highlight, quantize, or I can quantize at track base level. Um, that means if I go to, rec if it's nothing highlighted, and we have MIDI 3 up here. If I record in now the off base, as soon as I finish recording, it would snap those to the near 16th note on the grid. So we can quantize in those three ways. Or again, we could use MIDI transform. Uh, we want to set the velocities. So I'm going to open up our event editor, and you can see we have a slider here. We've got four events highlighted. As you can see here, and turn this down, and they all move relative, relative to each other. So I can't go past fifty-two because the first note is at full velocity, and it can't go any higher because these are all relative. If I hit the option, boom, it does it. Okay, so we can go down, up, and we can also do this in MIDI transform, where we're going to transform the data. We hit VIX velocity. And we select, say, 53. So we want everything to be at 52. Sorry. Select and operate. Bump. And it all changes. MIDI transform you've probably used before. I use a bit. Uh, I like to try and avoid it because it's overly complicated. And it should be much simpler. Uh, you can randomize velocity, pitch, uh, crescendo I use for drum rolls. So hit crescendo and you can find here from bar 1 to, say, bar 32. You have a big long snare roll programmed in and you can select the uh, velocity crescendo across that <clears throat> and fix note length and this is the one we're going to look at at the moment see we here we've got random note lengths so again they move relative to each other so we can have Or we can hit select and operate here. And now everything's nice at 16th. But this doesn't really tell us, you know, I find this very fiddly. To try and get a 30 second, I have to scroll down here to 120. And then select and operate. Or, you know, try and, try and insert. No, that should be, no, I don't want that. But that should be. You know, it's all, it's a bit fiddly. I'd rather just go. You know, that is really complex. Select and operate. Bump. We can save this. So we can create our own user set here. So initialize user set. And we're going to create. Bump. And you get all these scary sort of drop down menus. And we're not going to go into too much detail. Uh, only to say that status we want to equal and we want to deal with notes here. So we have this drop down menu note and you'll see that these two change. So this is our MIDI channel, this is our MIDI pitch, our MIDI velocity and our MIDI note length. So that's all we need to look at here. And the area that we want to fix is the length. So we select fix, click on this parameter and I get gets rid of all these and if we put in select one select and operate that is now 
a 16th. So we can go in here and name this 16th note. So now in this drop down menu, we have 16 note length. We can select that. And then we're going to again create a new user set. Again, state is equal. We're dealing with notes. Again, we're dealing with fixed length. And then we can switch all these guys off. And we want to set this to two. And again, guys, if I select and operate, bump. That is now an eighth note, so we name this eighth note. Return, rename. So we go to our menu, now we have 16th note, 18th note. And if I set this to zero and this to 120, that's a 30 second. Sorry, let's create. Again, equal, note, fixed length, switch off all the stuff we don't need. And name this 30 seconds. And then lastly, we can click onto that and say we'll create another one. So if we go to fixed velocity, and I want full velocity. So again, we go to create a user set, create. We want to deal with notes. And you can see now we've got, we're not dealing with length. We're we want to deal with the velocity. We want to fix the velocity. And I'm going to turn that right up, switch on unused parameters, and rename this full velo. Select and operate. Rename. So there we've created four MIDI transform functions. So I want, let's say, let me turn this down. So I want to make those full velocity, click on that. Select and operate, done. Then I want to make them it length. Select and operate. So <laughs> why didn't you see it? Select and operate. Sixteenth note length. Sorry, our eighth note for some reason. Yeah, we did change it. Sorry, that was my fault. Two. So if I go to 16th, it should be a 1. Yep. Yeah. 8th should be a 2. Yep. Yeah. 32nd should be 120. Perfect. So, yep, yeah, select and operate. Now we can quickly quantize uh, note lengths from within the MIDI function tab. And the one other, I suppose the one other thing to note is that We've created these in this project, and once we close this down and open up a fresh copy of Logic, those uh, MIDI transform functions will not be available. If you want to do that, open up your default, create them in there, and then every time you open it up and start a fresh project, those transform functions will be available to you. You can also import them uh, via settings into another project from sorry one project into another if you so wish to do that guys thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all very very soon thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our sonic academy youtube channel so if you find this video super useful please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.